Hi, I'm Liv Little and this is my debut novel, Rose Water. It is a queer love story about discovering love uh, where it's always been and it follows Elsie as she's navigating instability of home, trying to make a creative career work, trying to open her heart and soul to the possibilities of love. Um, and she's stubborn and she's annoying. And she's all of those things, but she's also someone that I hope people will relate to and feel for as she moves through the world. I'm here in Waterstones Piccadilly. Um, I'm going to pick out some books that have meant a lot to me or have taught me something about myself and the world. And the first book is Trumpet by Jackie Kay. And this was a book that I discovered while studying on the um, Black British uh, Literature MA at Goldsmith. Um, and I love it. It's beautiful. It's powerful. And it looks at the different ways in which people perceive you. Um, so it follows a trans trumpet player um, and the ways in which different people in his life kind of perceive him after death. And everyone has a very different interpretation of who he was or what his music meant or, you know, they all kind of like place their own. They all project a lot of things onto him. And I thought that was a really kind of like interesting, beautiful, kind of poignant way to write um, a novel. And Jackie Kay is obviously an iconic, you know, kind of British author. So yeah, this is a really special book. Another author who is important to me is Sally Rooney. Um, I love the way she writes. I love the way she writes sex as well, particularly. Um, and I love um, normal people, both in book form, but also in television series form. I thought it was brilliant. I really captured the intensity of falling in love in that particular kind of like early period of your life. Um, and I think in terms of my book, there are some kind of, I guess, themes and similarities that are explored in terms of two people coming from very different backgrounds and circumstance and like not really being able to see each other or meet each other where, you know, there is the potential for love to flourish. They're quite stubborn. <laughs> And I think um, Elsie is quite stubborn um, and often maybe not able to see the love as it exists, um, even when it's staring her in the face. So, yeah. I am now in the biography section upstairs on the top, top floor of Waterstones. Um, and I wanted to share this book with you. It's called Raceless by my friend Georgina Lawton. Um, she has the wildest kind of story of her upbringing of being raised thinking that she was of a different background to the one that she was. Um, and not only is this a book about identity and belonging and figuring out your place and, I don't know, going on a or going on a journey, it's also one that explores themes of grief as well. She talks a lot about the loss of her father, um, the man who raised her and what that looked and felt like. And I remember reading this book at a time when I was losing my own dad um, and it really, really moved me. And I felt seen, even though, you know, it's, this is not my kind of experience. And she's a gorgeous writer, so definitely one to read.